This is Hannibal from the HannibalTV.com with some all elite wrestling news regarding the fight for the fallen event that took place last Saturday, July 13th in Jacksonville, Florida, basically the hometown of AEW. The event took place in an arena built by Shad Khan next to the Jacksonville Jaguars stadium of course the jaguars are owned by the khan family this news is courtesy of the wrestling observer newsletter the show did not sell out and drew just under 5000 fans which is kind of shocking noting that it took place in AEW's home city where they have a lot of connections but that's still a, a great crowd for a new company But it is a new company owned by, basically, from what I understand, a billionaire, which is why he's able to afford all these massive contracts and good advertising and and so forth, good production values. Although there were some production issues with this show, according to reports. Uh, The show did not have as good numbers on Fight TV pay-per-view buys as the recent... Uh, fighter fest pay-per-view but the revenue was similar as this show was higher priced as far as the bleacher report live numbers it was down about 10 to 14 percent from fighter fests viewership so the numbers of viewers were dropping there were some complaints that four hours and 15 minutes was too long for the show Apparently, at the ending of the show, a $150,000 check was written to the Victims Assistance Advisory Council in Jacksonville, which is a great tax write-off for AEW and also great for helping out that particular charity. Apparently, 10000 of that money was a personal donation by Kenny Omega, which shows you the kind of money he is making right now to be able to afford a donation like that. Although, of course, charitable donations are tax write-offs. According to Dave Meltzer, he believes that AEW's success will ultimately be determined on whether or not TNT and ITV over in... uh, the UK and whoever else airs their show can expand their fan base to reach and maintain a new audience while still keeping the interest of the existing fan base. According to the Wrestling Observer, this event, Fight for the Fallen, like Fighter Fest, did not trend on Google where Double or Nothing had more interest on a main stream level. So we'll see how AEW does as they keep putting on more events. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.